guys, 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 guys. Oh, it's going to be a good one, guys. It's going to be a good one. I'm feeling this. I know what I'm in for, guys. I know what I'm in for. Let's go eat. I'm at the original location of Danino's Pizzeria and Tavern. Since 1937, family owned and operated. Let's grab it. Let's get that seal off. All right, seal comes off. Safety seal. Give you a nice side of grated pecorino or parm. Ooh, ain't that a pretty thing or what? Now that's a pretty looking pie, isn't it? Before I do anything, I am gonna dust this thing generously with some grated cheese. Got some half sausage going. Got the half sausage going, Italian fennel sausage. Let's dust this thing up with some good old sharp grated cheese. You don't wanna overdo it. You don't wanna overdo it, but you wanna put a nice amount for that textural cheesy contrast. Yeah, that should do it. All right, let's grab one. This dough is so good it could survive in this box. Fold it. Nice. Nice. Look at that, guys. Guys, look at this. Is that enough cheese for you? Is that enough cheese for you? Is that enough sauce for you? No flop, despite being heavy. Very heavy. Lots of cheese, lots of sauce. Sign of a good crust. Mmm. Look at that pulpy, delicious, naturally sweet sauce. It's so fresh, guys. There's not a drop of tomato paste on this sauce. Not a drop. Okay, guys, closer look. Let's move on in. First and foremost, the sauce. Look how much sauce is on this pizza. This is how I remember Danino's. When I think of Danino's, the first thing I think about is the sauce. Because there's a lot of it on it. Look at that. There are mountains of sauce on this pizza. All the way from the front, from the middle of the pie, right down to the back end. Look how pulpy that sauce is. There's never a dry spot like you saw with the Johnny's pie. Nothing's falling off, no, nothing dripping, no oil, no dirty grease, no cheap cheesy grease on this thing. Pizza gets cold, one more fold, and it does flop a little bit on the uh, second fold. Uh, pizza has cooled down considerably, uh, this one has some flop on it. Sausage is an Italian fennel sausage. I don't like to talk about toppings too much, but uh, the toppings that the Nino's offers on their pizzas are of the utmost quality. Basil, not the most pungent, not the most pungent, but uh, there's quite a bit of it on there, and they shred the leaves. Uh, it's put on after the pie is cooked, not before. Not only is there lots of sauce on this pizza, as you can see, there's also lots of cheese. Fresh mozzarella on the margarita, uh, that's the traditional way to make it and there's that orange color from the grated cheese uh, not much oil despite all this cheese so much respect right there and i just had to save the best for last guys the crust nice nice char this is a gas oven pie. You would think it's something out of a brick oven based on all that char. I mean, the first thing people tell you when they go to Danino's is, oh, I love their crust. It's fantastic. And their slogan is, in crust we trust. By the way, Danino's pizza since 1937. There it is in all its glory. You know, uh, I heard the owner in a documentary talk about the process that this crust goes uh, before baking. It's a 24 hour dough. They make it rise for uh, 24 hours. They make it ferment for 24 hours. And then they proof it for an additional uh, six, or six hours or so in the refrigerator. What proofing is, 
is they take the, the dough and they put it in the fridge and they let it rise in the fridge, which um, is a strategy that many bakers use in order to increase flavor. The reason why they put the dough in the fridge and let it ferment a little longer in a colder temperature is because uh, you want more alcohol. You want the yeast to poop out more gases, more ethanol, more alcohol. What that does is it increases the flavor of the crust. That's how bread gets its flavor, from the alcohol. So you want to kind of slow it down because if you leave it out in normal temperature, in the room temperature, you get more carbon dioxide, less alcohol, less flavor. So that's why this crust is so delicious. And this is why Danino's uh, says, in crust we trust. I love how airy it is. It's nice and thin, but also airy. What the Ninos proves is you don't have to skimp out on toppings and cheese and sauce because your crust is thin. Yeah, it's thin. It's not the thinnest. It's not your own pats, but that's thin. And that's a lot of pizza, baby. All right, guys, let's score this thing. I've been coming here for 25 years for a damn good reason. Danino's, Staten Island location since 1937, family owned and operated. Gets an 8.8 .8 out of 10, guys. 8.8 .8 for this pizza. It's kind of like a New York style, but smaller. Kind of like a bar tavern style, but a little larger. So yeah, 8.8, .8, guys. Come on out here, Staten Island, the original Danino's. They're opening up now all over. They just opened up one in Manhattan. They'll be getting a branch out, kind of like Pepe's. But so far, all the places are family owned and operated. And that's always a good thing because you need that love, that passion to go into the product. So anyways, guys, that's a review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, that, that's an 8-8 eight, eight, all the way. No, no doubt. Come out here, man. I'm telling you, this is probably your first stop. Come to Staten Island. You want to come here first. 1937, lots of history here. They filmed a lot of movies in here. So, uh, yeah, come on out, guys. 8-8. Uh, eight, eight. Beautiful pizza. Be well, guys. Keep those bellies full. I'd appreciate a tip here and there. Maybe a little donation. And thanks, by the way, for those who have been donating. I really appreciate that. Seriously. Seriously. Much love, man. It's always good to be motivated into doing more videos. So, uh, yeah. Be well, guys. Preferably with some good-ass pizza. Until next time, this is Antonio signing off.